you will look carefully, listen carefully, you will find a lot of things. Carefully look and listen. Hi, I'm Squee from SashiandSquee.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a simple standard canvas into a simple wooden frame. This is my canvas. It's a standard 8x10 canvas. Picture of my cat. It's called Mr. Hateful Pants because he's quite the hateful little cretin sometimes, especially with my dog. He's very cruel to her, even though she's about 30 pounds heavier than he is. So, standard 8x10 canvas. Uh, when you're framing your own pieces, it's nice to stick to the standard sizes because there's just the, the common sizes are a 5x7, 8x10, of 11 by 14, 16 by 20, and 18 by 24. Those are going to be the easiest to find frames for. Uh, beyond that, uh, you're either looking at a smaller selection of frames or you're looking at custom framing, which is very expensive. So, you've got standard 8 by 10 canvas and this standard 8 by 10 picture frame from Michaels. Um, see, it's a wooden frame and that's important because you're going to take all this out. Now you're, you're looking at this and you're seeing, oh, it's got glass on it. Well, that's okay. The glass comes out. The canvas usually does not get glass on it. And this one is not going to. Uh, glass is actually going to press. If you put glass over the canvas, one, it's going to make it a whole lot deeper. And for another thing, it's going to press against the canvas unless you put spacers in. And that's too complicated for our purposes. We just want to put it on the wall. So take the glass and the backing off, and then you have just a blank frame. And I say a wooden frame is important because it has this lip in it here. This lip is where the canvas will sit, and that's what holds it in. A metal frame and most plastic frames are probably not going to have this lip. They're going to have just a very small amount of space to slide glass, paper, and backing in. So we do need a wooden frame. To frame our piece, we're going to set our wooden frame upside down, take our canvas, set it facing up towards us, down in the piece, down in the frame. Next you're going to need something called offsets. Offsets come in at least four different sizes. Um, these were again from Michaels. And I already determined what size offset I needed. Um, if you're not sure what size offset you need, the best thing to do is to take your canvas or a canvas of the same size and take it with the frame that you're going to put it in and either ask a custom framer for help or just hold the, piece, hold the offsets up to determine the right size. As you can see, the right size offset will just hold it in like that. So, you'll put one offset on each side. Next, you will need drill. Or you can use an awl and uh, start a hole hammered in my hand. Uh, I have a drill, so it's a lot easier that way. I'm going to drill into the frame, not into the canvas. There we go. All right. Make sure that didn't come through on the other side. It didn't. So you do that on all four sides. Sometimes it's nice to start the hole, but I don't have an awl, so I can just put it on in there. Okay. 
right now, as you can see, your canvas is nice and secure in the frame. It's not going to fall out. It's not going to flop around. Well, it might flop around a little. But it's not going to fall out. It's in there.